are still taking votes for the top five hip hop countdown. That comes to you in a matter of minutes. But in the meantime, in the studio, somebody that I don't know, man. You've been around for a while. Easy E, what's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? You got by yellow. Yeah, that's right. DJ oh yeah, yellow. oh yeah. Now I, I saw you guys years ago when y'all had your big NWA tour. That was last right. time I saw you here in Philly. Eighty nine. Eighty nine. <laughs> right. That was a hell of a tour. Now a lot, a lot has changed. Easy. First of all. Um, you have your own record company. A lot of people right. don't know that. Ruthless Records. Right. What happened between Ruthless Records and you're not down party no more. You want you down no, with somebody priority, else. Priority. So. Priority was it happened to be the split of the group, mm-hmm. NWA, because uh, they was interfering in contractual agreements. So they were trying to split y'all up. Yeah, basically they. They did. Well, I mean, they did split y'all up, but. So, they was up paying, you know, like trying to pay Dre under the table, mm-hmm. trying to get Ice Cube to split up, and you know everybody, you know, told what went around, went down. Ice Cube admitted, you know, that that's okay. what really went on. Okay, now why why is it though that Dre and Ice Cube? Well, we'll start off with Ice Cube. When Ice Cube when Ice Cube left the group, you guys had like a lot of bad feelings. What was the situation with no, you? No, we didn't have no bad feelings. Well, it was just a, it was a record thing. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Okay, because you had the Benedict Arnold thing, and then we had the whole uh, yeah. out on Beach album. What else? Was, I guess was that just to sell albums or something like that? Not a little really. hype. We just we just going at it. So you just oh, so that cool. y'all cool. you cool? Yeah. No, what about you and Dre? Are you, Dre you and Dre some cool? Some other stuff. I mean, Dre now works for somebody that used to work for him. Mm-hmm. And Right, his bodyguard, right? All the, yeah, he okay. getting into all kind of trouble with this bodyguard, getting all these different lawsuits and mm-hmm. everything else. Yeah, I noticed on a picture in it, for those who haven't seen uh, his new EP, and it's selling really well, you know, congratulations right, on thank that. You. Um, they have, you have a picture of Trey, and then you, right, I, you I, untouched photo. Right, and you right. itemize every little thing about him, like the lipstick, eyeliner, lipstick. Uh, <laughs> eyeshadow, uh, sequence, sequence dress. Stethoscope, you know, he found low riding all of a sudden. I mean, mm-hmm. he never did this stuff in his life, never. Mm-hmm. Uh, now he's a hardcore G from the streets, which from NWA he never sound or tr- uh, tried to be so hard. Right. All of a sudden he didn't did so many murders and you know, looting. And on his album, he's talking about he's looting a place that couldn't even be been touched when the looting was going on. Right. But he said they looted this place. That's how much, you know, he know about the streets, really. Okay, so he's not from Compton, then? Not originally. Okay. So he just, what, what how I mean, did you... You got to keep up with it. Whatever's selling you, I guess he hopped on it. You might as well, well how did he hook up with you guys? Because I always thought, you know, straight out of Compton, when I heard Easy, when I heard Boys in the Hood, long time ago, I said, oh, these, these brothers straight out of Compton, I mean... How did you hook up with Dre? Because I understand that you... With Dre? I mean, I've been knowing him for a while, but, you know, Dre was in that world-class wrecking crew. Right. Where they used to do their love right, songs. Right. That was a big hit here in Philly. and everything and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, how did you hook up and how did you... Well, I seen him at some club and he had on this sequence dress. And <laughs> I was like, man, hey, you know, you got to get out of that stuff. Right. But he was a good producer. So you're saying you brought, him in, you brought him into the hip-hop thing or the, you changed his, his appearance, rather, at yeah. the time. Yeah, I tried to put him in something else. Okay, in the black, in the in the. Now he was rocking sweatsuits and flooding pants and paper at the bottom. <laughs> I tried to get him in khakis and everything, but you know, he finally jumped in them as it time went on. Okay, well, as a group, NWA sold millions and millions of albums. Do you think you right. guys will ever get back together? I mean, business wise, it'd be a great thing to do. Yeah, business wise, it will be. But as long as Dre has should, uh, you know, mm-hmm. on his back, I don't think he'll do it. What about Cube? Like, will Cube scary. come back? Yeah, Cube is down. Okay. He's down to do it. All right. Now, is down, you, know. you got your new deal with uh, Relativity, and you have a lot of groups coming out besides right. uh, MC Rim with the same old ish. That's that's blowing up a little bit right about right. now. What else do you have coming? I think Blood uh, Abraham Blood is another Abraham, group. Abraham, Will 1X, Menage Trois, HWA, Cocaine, Above the Law. HWA from back in the day? Yeah. The same group? Yeah. Okay. GBM. Gangsta Dracer, Gangsta Dracer. So, um, other than that, is there anything else that you're doing? I mean, is it? Are you avidly looking for other groups around the yeah, country? I'm looking for a lot of other groups. Okay. And everything, you know. I got, I'm looking for a lot of new talent. You can send your tapes. Uh, call me at eight one eight seven one zero 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 six zero. All right. So you're definitely looking for new people, and yeah, are you gonna you're gonna sign some people from outside of outside of uh, yeah, if it's good. LA. Okay. It's good. 
All right. Now, you have, this is actually an EP that you have out now. So right. when is your album coming and what's it going to be called? A double. Well, I got a double album. Double? Two albums that's coming out and it's called Straight Out the Streets of Compton. Uh-huh. One and two. Okay. All right. So that's sort of like to make up for them years that you were, because you, you might been, as well have yeah. been like five years. That's right. But of course, uh, the classic, your classic first album is still making some noise. People still buy it. So right. pick it up. Definitely got some flavor. Um, are you going to be doing a tour or something? Or are you going to? I know you're on a promotional tour now. You know, if the demand, if people want me to go out and do a tour, I go out and do it. Uh-huh. But I haven't been on the road in about. Yeah, so about you could take all years. your groups. You could take all your groups with you, and you could be the yeah, it the be a nice package. Ruthless tour. tour. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming by Radioactive, and right about now, we're going to check out Real Compton City G's. And uh, if you haven't seen the video yet, go out and see the video. It's definitely funny. I, I got the box. Check out the picture of Dre. That's <laughs> the real Dr. Dre. They play it on the box every other video here. It's, it's sort of like oh, yeah. it's really popular. That's and cool. uh, go pick up the new EP, which is called, once again, Dr. Dre Killer. Dr. Dre Killer. It's on. All right. Once <laughs> again, it's on. Easy E, DJ Yella in the house. Oh, it's yeah. radioactive. Radioactive. Come, John.